I look like the sickest child in the world, just like pale and ghostly with like dark eyebrows and like no eyelashes. It's great. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Andy and I am going to do another one of my first impressions for you today. Now, I've done a couple of these so far. Um, I really like the idea. I like kind of experimenting with makeup that I've literally never used before for you guys on camera so you can see how I'm responding to it initially. Um, I think that's a really honest way of doing it. Um, as you can tell from some of my last ones, I have been brutally honest, even more so than I probably should be because once I've kind of like adjusted to them and, and worn them out and seen how they held up, I kind of like them better. Not always, but most of the time. Um, so today I'm doing what I'm really excited about. Um, it's going to be two different products from two different brands, but it's brands that I really, really like. So I've got the NYX Pore Filler Primer and I have the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. Um, LA Girl love their concealers, NYX I love pretty much all their products so I'm really excited to try these two. I've never used a foundation from LA Girl before today so I'm going to see how I like it, if it works. Um, I think I picked this guy up, it was on sale, it was like $4, $5, it was super cheap. Same thing with this guy, it was like 4 or $5 so I'm really excited, hopefully um, they will be worthwhile. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put on my primer. I originally bought this primer thinking that I would do it for my dupe. Oh, oh, I was not expecting that. Did you see like, like a little worm fell out at me? All right, okay, adjusting. So that's a, consistency wise, it's a little bit, I mean, it's, it's what I expect from a pore filler. It just like came out differently than I expected, I guess. Maybe I should shake it, I don't know. Um, oh, it, it feels nice. It's really, really nice. I'm, some people hate pore filling primers. I get it because it does kind of feel like a veil on top of your skin. I actually really, really like it. Um, I'm a huge fan. I feel like uh, it does a good job of leveling my skin out. Um, uh, no, that did not change. Ah, they keep falling on me. I keep getting these little worm nuggets. So, uh, like I said, I like the way it feels, but like just trying to apply it, normally I put primers directly on my skin and this one's not working like that. This just does not want to work like that, so. That's not what this guy was going to be. Um, I originally bought it for the intention of doing it in my dupe video. I was going to dupe it with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm glad I did not do that because it's a little bit different in consistency. Um, I haven't done that video yet, but, and it is, I don't know if you guys can tell on my fingers, but it is definitely colored. You can tell me to pull it back a little bit. Like even my, where I've rubbed it in with my fingers is stained a little bit. So it is actually kind of giving me like already a base color, which I don't, I'm not opposed to. I'm a fan of that, so. Just interesting, it was not what I was expecting actually. Um, but like I was saying, it uh, was originally bought to be a dupe for the Smashbox photo finish. I decided not to do that, um, only for the sheer reason that they then put the um, green pore filling primer that they have from NYX on sale. And I know I have a green of the Smashbox uh, photo finish primer. So I was like, huh, color neutralizing, of course green um, when you're doing color correcting is supposed to level out redness, which we all know I have rosacea, so I'm always looking for that. Um, so I decided to buy that one and do that one for the dupe video and just have this one just to have. So, um, but I do just on first impression, I like the way it feels. Um, the consistency as it came out was a little bit odd, but that's not a problem. It just means that I can't apply it the way I would normally do it, which is directly on the skin. I'll just put it on my hands first or I don't really like brushes for primer purposes. I feel like they make my brushes sticky. So I normally just use my hands, but, um, yeah, overall it feels really, really lightweight. Um, very smooth though, but I can definitely feel it like giving you that nice, like, cream finish over your pores so you don't have the bumps like you do normally, if that makes sense. Um, now, as you can tell, I've literally not opened this. The wrapper is still on, so I'm gonna unwrap this little bad boy. We filmed one entire video and realized that the audio had completely cut out from the very beginning, so we could not use that video at all. I was very upset that day, so he keeps checking it, and I appreciate it, but I just wanna make sure we're good. Okay, so just for an affordable, for an affordable foundation. This packaging is really nice. It is a very nice kind of like that, it's glass, but it's kind of like that textured glass. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't know if you guys can see the head well, but it's like a super nice pump. I have determined when I'm trying to figure out 
if I like a foundation for the first time, it's easiest just to go in with my beauty blender and adjust from there. I love my new, you guys have seen my 360 brush with the foundation, for foundation. Um, I love that brush. It is incredibly effective. I have used it nonstop, but when I'm first testing a foundation to figure out how it works with me, I know what beauty blenders do. I know how to work with them and that's what I'm used to applying my foundation with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with that. Well, okay, so we'll see. I'm gonna see, I've been pumping this for a good like, oh, there we go. I pumped it probably about 50 times before it came out, but that's fine. So it's like a nice, it's like a really thick consistency. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not liquidy at all. It's not really bouncing at all, which I like. That means it's gonna stay in place, which is what I want it to do, so. Oh yeah, it's thick. It's thick with two C's. T-H-I-C-C, -C. possibly three C's, we'll have to see. Huh, <laughs> so many C's. Oh, so actually I really am kind of liking this so far. I know it's kind of like, it's sticky, it's tacky at the moment, but that's because of the thickness. And like I said, if that means it's gonna stay on, I am good with that. It does kind of have a, it's an off-putting smell. It smells like something from my childhood, but I don't know what. Oh, that's gonna really bother me. It's off-putting, but not because I've some for some reason I'm relating it to my childhood, but I don't know what I'm relating. It's like like a soap maybe that I used when I was a kid, or even like it's not like the Play-Doh smell. It's just I don't know. It's so familiar though. It's bothering me. I keep sniffing it. So I would say with this, you are definitely going to need a pore primer because I'm still looking pory. It's like definitely showing a little bit of bumps and stuff. And if I had not used one, like if I used a color correcting one instead of like a pore filling one, it probably would be even worse. That's what I would, I would expect at least. I guess I'd have to test that before I can like definitively stay, but that just having used makeup before with the different primers, I would say that would probably be the effect that I would see. But it is nice, I like the color. It's doing a good job of coverage. I haven't tried to build on it yet, but it's, so far it's spreading out really nice. I smell so familiar! But I went to the beach with my parents this past week and I was really annoyed because one day <laughs> I was getting ready and I mixed a whole bunch of foundations trying to like, cause I had a couple of bottles that were like almost empty and you know, I'm always like, you know, Mr. Scientist over here trying to whiz up something with all my foundations. I don't know why, it's just some weird thing that I do. But I was trying to consolidate and I was like, okay, I'll mix these colors, they should all work together. And they did, but whatever consistency I created, man, my nose dang fell off three times before we even left the apartment and I was like, I'm gonna kill somebody, so. Like seeing it actually stick and, and work nicely. I mean, honestly, it's not, it's, I go into the catalyst, it is not a high end foundation. I think you guys will know what I'm talking about when, if you buy like really high end foundations, normally you can see a quality difference in them. Um, there is a little bit more uh, texture in my skin than some of my nicer foundations. Overall, for what I paid for this, this is a really good base coat that I've gotten going. It's good full coverage. None of my reds really shining through and you guys saw that it was pretty red a minute ago. My nose is maybe a little bit patchy, but like overall I would say I'm very happy buying this for whatever $4.99. I'll buy it again, I'm sure, when it goes on sale again. I only picked up one, which you guys know for me is like so weird. I can't believe I did that, but I think it was because I had bought like 15 foundations in that haul and I was like really trying to be good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. So I'm actually gonna go in. I was gonna go in with my LA Girl concealer to keep it consistent however that is a darker shade and I feel like with this it's already kind of a darker shade I need a lighter shade to lighten up so I'm going to go in with my shape tape and then I'm going to set it with my pore primer and I'm or my um pore finish powder and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what that looks like okay so stay tuned we'll be right back I look like the sickest child in the world just like pale and ghostly with like dark eyebrows and like no eyelashes it's great so yeah, so this is the final product. I, like I said, for a $4.99 foundation, I think it's normally like $9.99. So it's normally a very affordable foundation. I'm very happy with the product. Um, I like it a lot. I like the look of it. I like the way it matches my skin tone. I like the way it went on. It really only took me a little bit of time to work with. It's not, 
I mean, it's not like a high, high quality. You probably won't ever see it on a runway, but dang, for $4.99, I would say it's definitely worth picking it up. Even at $9.99, I don't think you're going to really go wrong with it. Um, so I'm a fan of it, and I like the pore fil their, uh, primer too from NYX. So overall, very happy with these. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps our page. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, please do that as well and hit the notification bell so you see every time we post a video. As always, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day and you stay girly but with a dark twist.